Our friends from B&M Fabrications sent us some cool products to install on this awesome machine here. I love this Polaris RMK, the Axis chassis. Uh, we've got this rear EXO bumper that I'm going to install today. Uh, in another video, I'll be installing these running boards, burly boards. They're awesome as well. Uh, but one thing that we've noticed with these grab bars, extremely lightweight, of course, they've got this carbon fiber here. Um, they're pretty weak. If you sort of come down on the back end a little bit, you tweak it. And I've already done it. I've bent this one down or this one up. I guess this one's bent up. Yeah, you can see a tweak back there. And it's just a matter of time. You know, one more little whack and it will fail. And you can't pull off these as well. So it's tricky. Well, you really can't pull off the back of these sleds in any event. Even if you uh, reinforce stuff, you can a little bit better, hopefully. But from about here to here, they're notoriously kind of weak if you really pound them. But this is gonna strengthen all that up. Check that out. This is made out of aluminum. Um, the rear grab bar is set back about another three quarters of an inch and it's actually raised about three quarters of an inch. So that's really gonna tighten up this, this back end. And for the kind of riding we do, we're always whacking stuff. It's sort of falling back onto rocks. Um, this is gonna do exactly what we want or what I want. It's gonna tweak it and make it better. And that's what we're doing. We're making everything better on this sled. That's how we roll. Lots of changes coming. Of course, you know, uh, we've done a lot of work on the Rev, the old Rev chassis there in the past, and we just keep making it better even when new products come out for it. And we're doing the same with this one. And we've got a Skidoo coming in the lineup as well. So, uh, well, Ryan's free ride, but you know, maybe we'll get into the Skidoo's a little later on as well. We're gonna replace this B&M Fab. I've put a lot of their stuff on actually, bumpers and boards, and they're pretty heavy duty. That's the way we like it. These boards here, you know, I'll go over that later anyway, but anybody who rides one of these, you have the ripped shin pads or ripped shins, you know what it's like. Those things, those boards, man, they hurt. They are sharp. So B&M Fab, they kind of switch things up a little bit make things so they are a little better. That's what a lot of these aftermarket companies do. Get off of there. Not only that, but this rear grab bar is gonna go on the Monster Alan because we need, need a bar for it. And the boards too. I think the boards match the, uh, did it match a skid on that? Is it an orange skid? Yes, it is. <laughs> so yeah, things are gonna be awesome on that old machine. Probably with the way that that grab bar is backing up about three quarters of an inch, a little easier to grab, you know. Um, sometimes the snow gets piled in behind here. Not so easy to grab. I mean, it did its job. 407 pounds, the sled, brand new, dry. No fuel in it. Things like this definitely make a difference. It's extremely lightweight. This EXO bumper might add a little bit of weight. Not really very much noticeable, but it's the added benefit of strength is what we're looking for. For what we do in the back country, playing around. There. Now they have this for the 163 and the 155 as well. Nice. It's gonna cover up some of our wrap, but that's all good, man. Oh, look at that, that's better already. I like it. And we're going to the Toronto Snowmobile ATV and Power Sports Show as well. And people are gonna to wanna to see. They like the sled, they like to hop on it and feel it. And it is nice. I'm just gonna put these in Install them kind of loosely. One thing I did notice, you can see it right here. Hold on, I'll pull this out, Simon. I did whack this board. I just noticed that those holes aren't lining up or this, uh, the edge of the tunnel kind of knocked up, eh, bud? I think we can do it all with a hammer. Just 
trust me, this thing sees a lot more abuse than just from a hammer. Well, that's better. Uh, you can get these in different colors, of course. They powder coat just about every color of the rainbow and some in between, so not a big deal. Shipping is fast. They know what they're doing, those boys. What's really nice is that it's cold out and we're getting ready for sled season. We got a lot more videos coming out. Whoopsie. I banked a bunch, I've been waiting for the fall. So I'm just in the process of editing up a whole pack, a whole whack of them. This one I'm gonna put right here. Use my special clamping technique. Looks really good. The sleds are dirty, man. Oh my God. Got to drain all the fuel out of these. Put some gas line antifreeze in them. We need to do a shoot a quick little video of getting your sleds ready for the season. Comes with all the uh, mounting hardware you need and they have an online installation manual or guide. Just click on their little, what do you call those, a Q scan? Is it a Q scan thing? QR code. QR code, that's it. Then you're good to go. Good to go. The other thing when you do this, it sort of takes off a little bit of the... There are some holes in there already, apparently, but they kind of don't line up for me because my sled's not brand spanking new and it's been abused a little. So I'm just still drilling them out. Something to take into consideration you know, when you're putting this together. Make sure that that rail is back to kind of where it was when you bought it. If you've twisted something, to make it align or line up a little better. We're good to go. You know what I'm saying? We just get stuff done around here. We're getting ready for the show. We gotta get things done fast. Three sixteenths? That's what I was gonna say. Three sixteenths. They usually are, right? Going old school right now. Jamie's drill. Seems to always save the day, actually. You don't want to plunge too hard or you'll sort of damage that. I'm going to work that rivet right in, Simon. Rivet my way in there. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Get one of those. You can check the clearance in the back here. Sometimes, you know, if, uh, if you've got a taller lug track on, you might want to turn this rivet in from the inside and poke it out. But I think we got plenty of clearance here and I'm just gonna put it in from this side. Bam. I like it. That is nice. Solid way more solid than what it came with. I mean, you know, we're looking at sleds like this and we wanna make them as light as possible. Yes, I get that. Um, I've added weight to this sled. I put a turbo on it. I'm adding or upping the boost on it. Power to weight ratio kind of thing. So I think a little bit of tiny extra ounces isn't gonna make a huge difference. Um, but it's the strengthening of this rear tunnel. I mean, go on the internet, boys, you're gonna see all kinds of shots of guys with these tunnels all wrapped up and down. You know, they have them for Articat and Skidoo and all makes and models. You gotta give B&M Fabrications a call. Tell them Louie from Power Mod sent you, of course. We are gonna get into these burly boards next. They're going on. These are pretty cool, and the reason I like them is this. You don't bust your foot or your ankle 
getting your toe caught in there. That's why we're putting these bad boys on. But that's a whole other video. Keep on coming back. We enjoy having you here.